Hello, welcome to God Given Health. Today I want to share with you how to heal or cure gastritis. How to heal or cure gastritis. I have suffered with gastritis more than once and it's not fun. It's not fun. Gastritis in general, it gives you a burning sensation in your stomach and around, even up around your back. It gives you a burning, very unpleasant sensation. And it can be painful and have other, it can make you feel very nauseated and can be very painful. So the, the God-given remedy for gastritis is chamomile tea and a bland diet. Chamomile tea and a bland diet. A lot of times what causes gastritis is eating too much uh, spicy food and it just leads to a, I guess, an upset in the stomach, lining of the stomach. This is what I've read from professionals, it's not my opinion. So it's some type of upset with the lining of the stomach. And it could be caused by eating too much spicy food from alcohol, uh, caffeine, chocolate, too much coffee, maybe too much uh, pasta, or not pasta, uh, what is it, the marinara, tomato sauce, things like that it can cause gastritis. So that's a lot of times what is caused by uh, from eating the wrong things or too much just too much of one thing. It could be something that's healthy for you, such as tomatoes. Tomato pastes can be healthy, but a lot of times when we overdo these things. So anyway, the God-given remedy is, is chamomile tea. So what you wanna do and what I do, this is how I, how I, how I healed my gastritis. I'm not a medical doctor. If you are in any type of pain or really sick or whatever, you need to call 911 or you need to go see your doctor. Okay, I'm not here to diagnose your problem. I'm just going to share with you how I got well. And my, my situation may not always, the things that I recommend that help me may not always work for everyone else. Okay, because each of our bodies are unique. So that's why I want to let you know I'm not a medical doctor. Okay, you'll see all my, read all my information below in the description box. But in general, the things that I'm going to share with you, People take these things, they help, they've been around for, for, for centuries and centuries since the beginning of time, and they can help you. Chamomile is a herb, herbal remedy. You can get it in tea form. You can even get it at Walmart. And you can basically buy chamomile tea anywhere. So the chamomile tea is going to help comfort and heal your stomach. The other thing you could do that even regular medical doctors would tell you to do is to eat a bland diet. So a bland diet would consist of something like bananas and oatmeal, maybe a piece of toast or something like that. Basically avoiding spicy food such as hot sauce and chilies, chili pepper, things like that, uh, ketchup, uh, fried food. You definitely want to avoid fried food when you have gastritis so it'll make it worse. You'll be in a lot of pain. Okay, so... The doctors, uh, I believe they'll try to give you a bunch of prescription medication to take, and you could take them if you want, but if you're tired of going to the doctor and you want to try some uh, home, home remedies, then uh, chamomile and eating a bland diet. If you drink chamomile and eat a bland diet for two to three days, you should start fit to feel better. Sometimes it's good, or most of the time it's good. If you go to the doctor and get a diagnosis, great, but a lot of times doctors are not able to always diagnose us. And then even if they do, a lot of the, those prescription medications can harm our health and cause other health problems in the long run. A lot of people don't know that a lot of these, these medications that the doctors give us, God bless doctors. Jesus said, if you're sick, go to a doctor. He said that, so I would never discount doctors. The problem is, is, is we go to the doctors and they can't find what's wrong with us. Or if they do find out what's wrong, then they put us on these medications. A lot of times they can cause a lot of harm and we can ruin our health. For instance, the case with antibiotics. People have been taking antibiotics. Antibiotics have been around for over 20, 30 years. The problem is now that people are having antibiotic resistance, where now the antibiotics don't work or they take longer to heal you. And that's what happened to me. I have been, doctors have overprescribed me antibiotics and so now my body, instead of me needing the one prescription, I'll need like two or three refills of antibiotics for them to heal me because the antibiotics, they, you know, they just somehow they backfired. They're man-made medicine, but God has come up with medicine. You know, if we take it the way God prescribed, uh, a lot of these herbal remedies, if you read the uh, label instructions, and you got to follow the instructions on the label, that's all you got to do, okay? You got to do that. 
And then, so what do you do? A lot of them is you, they tell you to take it for a week or two and then off for a week or two. Then if you're not well, you could go another week or two. Even over-the-counter prescriptions, a lot of times if you read these labels, for instance, like Prilosec, Prilosec says to only take for two weeks. My doctor had me kept prescribing me uh, Prilosec for five, 10 years. And I develop a lot of stomach problems because of it. So we got to be careful. It's better to try these remedies like chamomile tea, you know, herbal remedies, because they have fewer side effects, if any at all. And so they help. The, I know people say, well, and they'll put on the medications. It'll say not supported by the government. The government does not, the FDA does not guarantee that this will work or nothing proves this will work. That's because they've never spent the time or the money to do the research on it. That's why they have to put that on there. It doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just means that they have not done the research because them or the, or the drug companies, they have spent all their money and time researching their products because they want you to buy their products. It's too cheap if you can grow some dandelion or some herb in your backyard. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars to get well. And I, like I said, doc, there's a place for doctors. God bless doctors, God bless medicine, but we have to take care of ourselves, okay? No one cares about our own interests more than we do or, or God does, okay? No one does, maybe a family member, but besides God, no, no one really cares about our health more than we do. And so we have to take care of our own selves. We have, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's what we need to do. I've heard people going to a doctor tell them, I got a good doctor, I trust my doctor, and they still wind up getting sick or worse or something the doctor you know, he may have had good intentions, but he's a human being. And so now they're suffering with their health. And so I'm just saying from years, you know, me going to the doctor, I used to think that all this was only happening to me. I thought I was the only person doctors couldn't diagnose. I thought I was the only person that was going through the things I went to. Come to find out after all these years, millions of people going through the same thing I'm going through. And so this is why I started this channel, God Giving Help, because I want to be able to help other people that's going through the same things. And, and God also wants, wants people to know. God loves people. He wants people to know that, you know, there's a remedy for what you're going through. The doctors are saying there's no cure or the only cure is for me to cut you open and cut that out or put something else in. They ain't the only remedy. And I'm going to prove it to you on this channel about things that have happened to me and other people. I'm going to prove it to you. Okay, and this is not to put doctors down or nothing. This, this channel is for people who are tired of being sick and tired of being told ain't nothing we could do or we just got to cut you open and only answer is surgery when that ain't the only answer. There's a lot of other answers before we even get to surgery. And surgery, a lot of time, if you listen to these doctors, never do they ever say it's 100% cure, this surgery. They always say 90%, 80%, 70%, 50 chance that you'll never have this problem again. They never say 100%. If it ain't 100%, then I don't know if I want the surgery. I've had surgery before, as I mentioned before on this channel, but it was only because the last resort and it was my fault because I didn't take better care of myself. And so it's important for us to take better care of ourselves. We don't want to just take these remedies and then take them for granted and abuse our health because we could get in a position where now we ain't got no choice but surgery. But if we love ourselves and take care of ourselves and not abuse our bodies uh, through various ways like overeating, not exercising, you know, just overindulging in things, you know, you know, we just want to be careful that we don't do that. We take care of ourselves. We can still enjoy life. We can still enjoy life. You still can have chocolate. You can still have coffee and tea and donuts and pizza and cheeseburgers and cake. You can eat all that. Just not every single day and not so much. If you just ate a tiny, teeny slice of cake almost every day, it probably wouldn't hurt you. But the problem is, people, and you know it's true. We don't want one slice of cake. We want two slices. And if we only, if we want cake, we want one slice. It's probably this thick. When in all actuality, that's like two to three <laughs> pieces of cake. I know I speak from experience because I love cheesecake. But I'll tell you, when I get a slice of cheesecake, it's probably not this thin. It's probably like this. So anyway, anyway I got to keep it real. Come on. So anyway, that's what I want to share with you. That's how you heal nausea. I, uh, I'll put some, some more information below. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you go, you try these remedies, you try, come back, give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs up now and be, and please be sure to subscribe for more. Okay. So be sure to subscribe, subscribe if you want to see more, if you care about your health 
and be sure to share and help other people in need, family or friends or whoever, you know, that's going through health problems. Okay, so I hope this has been a blessing to you. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Please post your comments or questions below. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye.